Hey guys, Little G Outdoors here, and uh, today I just wanted to show you something that I made and why I made it. So this is an apron <coughs> from Walmart. You get from the Arts and Crafts, uh, less than ten dollars, and I could have bought one off a trapping website that I needed because I needed something that was waterproof so that when I'm fleshing hides during the trapping season and I'm using my apron pressing up again the flesh and flushing board that that stuff's not soaking through and uh, I seen some on the trapping sites and they were kind of expensive a little more than what I wanted to spend so I thought well I'll just try to make mine so I went to the arts and craft section at Walmart and got this for around five dollars I think it was and I make my own waterproofer and I waterproofed it yesterday and I'm just gonna pour a little water on there and see if it, uh, see if it works so uh, I guess just stay with me and we'll try it out alright guys so I got a bucket of water here and I guess I'm just gonna pour it over top Surely the wood will be wet if uh, the water goes through. You can actually see the water just laying on top of it. So, that must mean only one thing. It worked. guys that turned out about like I expected it to I kind of figured it and do that I just wanted to show you guys um, I've done that with one of my haversacks uh, I've made some other haversacks handmade those uh, you know ammo pouches and stuff like that and one I got one for trapping I carry about uh, some nails and 22 shells in and pan covers and stuff like that and I apply the same mixture to it if you want to see how I make this just leave a comment down below and then I'll do a video on the materials used and how I how I make the solution but uh, it's been little G outdoors and I appreciate you watching thanks